I'm Teresa Allman from the sales department, and I would like to welcome you to this week's Take 5, Episode 38. Happy New Year! Hello, my name is Tanika Jeter, and I'm the Fresh Cut Supervisor here at WP Raw. We are in the midst of ending our busy season, and through the hard work and dedication of our employees, we were able to exceed our goal of 900 cases per hour, meet the needs of our customers, and able to give them extra days off to spend with their family during the holiday season. We also had some internal promotion. One is Alex Donaldson. He has been promoted from machine operator to the lead over all the bagger operators on first and second shift. We also added an additional supervisor to our second shift team, Frederick Gartel. We look forward into being able to serve America with fresh vegetables throughout next year. Thank you. Hey there, Walter P. Raw team members. This is Pete and happy new year to 2021. For the transportation department, 2020 was a great year in that we hit the third year of no lost time injuries. That is an outstanding job by our team. We set records for our deliveries out of the Bunnell location. And we have four drivers that were that led the way in that, and that's Kevin Brown, Thurman Bell, Franklin Giles, and Thomas Penn. A big thank you to all four of those and other team members that helped us this year down in Bunnell. At behind me, you'll see the new trailer parking lot, which has been added, and that will help us with safety. It'll also help for location of our equipment, and it's a lot easier for our drivers to maneuver in and out. Hope everything goes well for you in 2021 and hoping for a great year for transportation. Thanks. Hey guys, Brooke Rich here from the HR department. I wanted to take a minute to tell you about the Grace Agency. Um, if you are 65 or you are close to 65 or you know someone that is approaching the age of 65 or is 65 or older, be sure to tell them about the Grace Agency. They actually help with finding the Medicare that is best fit for you and they will also help with the um, calculating the cost of it and they will actually compare your current health plan to which Medicare plan is going to fit you the best. Um, they will always be there for you. They are there for life and the best thing about them is that they are free. They are no cost to you at all. So be sure to check out their website and be sure to check out their phone number. Um, it is listed on the flyers. You should be able to find these in your um, in all the break rooms now. So be sure to be on the lookout for those and check them out. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm David Hilpish, safety specialist at WP Raw. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about forklift safety. So forklifts play a vital role to our operation because it allows us to move heavier loads quicker than we could with a standard pallet jack. This speed allows us to reduce waste as far as transportation, movement, and delays is concerned. And this reduction of waste also helps us deliver highly nutritious leafy greens to our customers in a more timely fashion. Forklifts can be very dangerous though. Our forklifts weigh upwards of 9,000 pounds, which is about two to four times the amount of weight as your daily driver. So here are a few tips to help uh, keep, keep the forklift driver and the pedestrian safe in our operation. So before operating a forklift, you must be trained by WP Raw to operate forklifts. Uh, if you have not received training, please do not get on a forklift. You must inspect your forklift prior to operating. Uh, you're checking for loose connections, you're checking for fluid leaking, and you're also making sure that your safety equipment, such as horns, are working. You always want to be aware of your surroundings and make sure that uh, you're mindful of pedestrians in your area. You want to stop at all stop signs, pedestrian crosswalks, and sound your horn constantly. Forklifts, uh, as heavy as they may be, they're not as loud as people think. Um, and as always, never operate a forklift under the influence or if you're extremely tired or feeling unwell. So pedestrians, you have a role in forklift safety too. You want to make sure that you're not lingering and that you're not going through highly trafficked forklift areas if not necessary. You never want to use these areas as a cut through. Um, you always want to make eye contact with your forklift drivers and make sure that they see you before you walk in front of them or, or around a forklift. Make yourself visible in forklift areas. You want to make sure that you're not hiding behind pallets or in, or in hidden corners. And if a forklift is retrieving or loading product into the upper level rackings uh, in the warehouse, make sure that you stand at least 20 feet away. So everyone must know that forklifts can't stop on a dime. 
Um, they are very powerful, heavy machines that make our lives so much easier. So please respect the forklift and what it does for the operation. I thank you. Now go forth and do good and have a great day and be safe. Hello, uh, my name is Ed Island. I'm here with Jose Cortez. We are part of the Bonnell Raw family. Uh, what we want to talk about is our new air compressor that we just put in. Uh, and I'll let Jose talk about the rest of it, about our new uh, uh, dryer that we put in. Uh, this is installed. Um, a month ago, we got a snare on it, so we took it from the rain last night. Um, we took the old system out and saw the new uh, air compressors and uh, new tanks for the baggers one and two. So it's going to really good at it. And everything has worked out really well. We poured a new pad down here to set these units on it, so keep them from uh, standing in the mud and stuff like that. Uh, so it's proven to be really effective in the press net system. Now we're going to take a walk over here. We're going to take a, a look at our new heat exchangers that we put in for number one and number two tanks. Uh, we got Dylan Raw on the camera. Uh, so we're going to walk over here. The main thing about these new heat exchangers, you see how small they are? Basically what we're doing is replacing this larger plate frame uh, chiller with this small heat exchanger. So this is the gear center on this plate frame has been removed, well not removed, but replaced by a small heat exchanger here. We have one on the opposite side. Our next step in this role is to use this plate frame to chill the water going to our tank on the inside. So with that, we'll be able to get 30 quarters of water all the time without using any ice. Our ultimate goal here is to reduce. Uh, I excuse it here at the Bonneville facility.